Yeah, now, now I have two errors. For example, when we when we do a some operation here, so this uh, thing will be removed. Mm -hmm. So double click on this. So this is the real the, the real area, and mm -hmm. the area where I will map the input variable to the database variable. Mm -hmm. You got my point? Yes, because there is like like uh, virtual and this is real, yeah. and you want to connect it. You remember this sequence. You will do this sequence everywhere. Ah, here I will select uh, the user. This is the input. This is the input of uh, XML. Mm -hmm. XML tree. Okay. For example, in XML tree, we mentioned uh, request for student uh, employee. Uh, okay. Uh, employee number. Uh, employee salary and response. We say in the response uh, is the salary of the employee. So this extend this. Extend. Extend. Yeah. Enter employee okay. number. Mm -hmm. So I will map this to user defined input. Okay. Here is input variable, here is also input variable. Here is output variable, here is also an output variable. Okay. okay. Here is a invoke this last two and this last two. Mm -hmm. Same to user same. user defined variable. Yes. You got from where we got we create this. It is from this is from the previous one from the PPL process. Yes, and, and this, this is user defined. User defined and the uh, inside. Yes, during when when we create uh, the invoke database, mm -hmm. so we create there two variable. Yes. So one variable is this one. One variable is this one. Okay. So I will map this variable to the database. The, the database input variable. Have you got the point? Yes. I uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I will map this input to user defined input. Mm. Remember this sequence. Okay, yes. Inside. Because you will do in next time you, in project, you will do like this. For example, you know, enter employee registration number. Mm -hmm. So here is a uh, defined uh, employee number. Okay. This is the database employee number. Okay. For example, I enter employee number. So this employee number will come here to this employee number one minute huh? database let's remove again eh? click here okay. and drag here you got the point yes for yes, example yes. my input will come here and this input will go to the database mm -hmm. query select an employee number employee number where employee number is equal to this number okay okay then apply here is show the request has come from this location and this will go to database location apply okay yeah one error is uh, now i have only one error okay. so i will again now i will assign for example after uh, invoking database, the database i will get an output so the output will come one minute i will Ah. the database output will come here in response which will okay. I got the uh, employee name employee select okay. okay and I will map this employee name and this employee salary yes. to the user defined input I will repeat this this again okay. okay now what i will get for example in in previous step we we made input, input variable to user defined input variable uh -huh. in this case for response uh -huh. for response we will do uh, the output variable to user defined output variable this is okay. the reverse process okay. because there is uh, xml uh, here uh -huh. the the process will be XML, right? Yeah, yeah. Before I mention that, yes. This is this is our user, our defined XML, uh -huh. and one XML tree is created by database. Yes. When when we drag the database adapter, mm -hmm. so that time one XML tree is created. So this is that tree. Okay. Okay. So I will map this output to user defined output. Okay. So I will select. Uh, uh, extend this uh, no problem for example I will get the employee name to 
the employee name okay again I will name this uh, employee salary to this salary this is simple so well, if we only from AMB to mm -hmm. respond then it is also okay will, 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 huh? this is also okay but here we have three input uh, employee so uh, they are both side the uh, both side they are the number equal so you can do you you mentioned mm -hmm. you just employee to employee okay. okay here we add two variables so the parameter database uh, we will map to apply mm -hmm. and okay so now we done mm -hmm. we done our five step yes when when we compile i will come back again uh -huh. okay now uh, it is the time for Check all. Yeah, for example, I mentioned this one examinatory is created by database uh -huh. automatically. This is our our exam. Okay. This is the database. Yes, yes. So for example, let's I missed the second here. one. Yes. No, th th this is uh, automatically generated. Yes. Uh, no, I mean if, uh, in the previous time uh, okay, I okay, I don't okay. get the second. Okay. okay. No problem. So now come come to here. Save first. Uh, you will save. Save all. But they are automatically save. No problem. Mm -hmm. If you want to again save. If you have uh, some mistake, so they will show you what uh, is the mistake. Inshallah, we have no mistake. Ah, validation pass. So I will right click on this and deploy. Deploy. Oh, so we ne we don't need to run or no need for run. Okay. This is absurd. So we we need. Uh, uh, we uh, deploy this. Okay. This is just step next, next, next. For example, if you are second time, the first time when you deploy, it will take some time. So next time you will, uh, if you deploy, so you can uh, select this go right yeah, yeah. In, in existing. For example, if you already deploy this, it's the ID, right? The ID. No, oh. there, there, there is oh, okay. next, next, next. For example, uh, I make a connection for application manager. For example, I already mentioned that. Uh, come to window and application manager so this is the name of the uh, application manager next uh, here here he asks for example uh, if I come here so I have this SOA intra admin yes, yes. so I have one is default one is just for test okay. so he asks your deployment will come here I come here so I mention anywhere no problem yes. oh. so if, if I select the just for test okay. no problem default is also okay or next and finish so oh, you will see your result click on message they are cheating if something wrong then they will show done very issue they are just warning mm -hmm. no problem warning no problem in this case so uh, now how you from here you will test or enterprise manager yeah i will come there are different ways one way is uh, here i will come here just for this and before i will refresh okay i refresh this i come here what was the name of our uh, employee salary employee salary we will see we will check right here mm, employee salary yes. i will click on this and test I will write enter employee number. For example, you can copy any employee number. For example, I enter this. I copy this number. For cheating, I will test this side. So this is the word. Mm -hmm. This is a city. So I will again click on this. Test. I will select another one. Class, and this is the salary. We, we, we select integer, so there is we will come. So now we, we, will, we will trace our information how information is going, how information is coming. If I click on this, lunch, lunch. So this is okay. So I will double click on this. This is the whole information from where is the information coming. For example, I will extend this so you will see the XML structure. For example, I enter 7782. This employee number is going to database, then assignment is coming. For example, we, 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 we assign one thing look, assignment, assignment number one. 
we map for our input to database input then we invoke database from data database the result is come in as again we assign in replay so we, we will see our replay here and we have third and this is save okay now one thing more one thing more here you can this is the tree structure and this is the XML view XML view of the result here you also see 